by this little gadget that I'm going to give it to you, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't give it to anybody for free, but I'm going to give it to you, okay? Alright. You like that? Yeah. You like I me like, now? I like it. <laughs> I like okay, Roberto, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to clean out this yellow parts. Those are called fibrotic tissues. Uh, that's not good. We need to see this red tissue, okay? So that's how we clean. Dijo el doctor que todo lo amarillo mm -hmm. se lo va a limpiar uh -huh. porque eso significa que no es bueno. Él necesita mirar que la piel esté rojo. Eso se lo va a limpiar. So I have to clean these things from the top, get rid of these, so that you can heal from the bottom. Dice el doctor que le va a limpiar lo de encima para que, lo, para que usted se cure de abajo. Que empiece de abajo para arriba. ¿Que yeah. me cure yo? Sí, la, la piel. Yeah, th these things get in the way of healing. Am, am I hurting you, Robert? You, f you feel it? Pain? A little bit. A little bit? Okay. Let me know if I give you pain, okay? So we need to get rid of these to keep the nice clean base of red, red tissues. Let's see. ¿Y qué pasó con los resultados de lo que mandó el doctor al laboratorio? Eso dura dos semanas para recibirlos. No que tres días, pues. No. You feel any pain? No. No, okay. So Roberto had a you had an accident right here, right? You you broke this one? Yeah. And then they had to do surgery on this one. So this area has been kind of weak. Right? The, the skin's been very thin. Crazy? Dice que como usted tuvo un accidente en el pasado, la piel la tiene muy débil. ¿Y qué tengo que hacer para que se componga? Same, what does he have to do to get it better? Yeah, we have to keep it wrapped and then we keep cleaning and then it will slowly close, okay? Dice It's going to take some time though, because... Que siga con lo que está haciendo, que lo limpien, que le pongan las bandas. So I clean the edges around this area so it heals from the outside in. So we keep cleaning the outside so that you can close in more. Se lo está limpiando de los bordos para que se le sane de abajo para arriba. De dentro para afuera. But I'm concerned about your blood sugar being too high. It seems like you're, you're, you said your sugar is over 200 every time? So, su casta más de 200? Casi todo el tiempo. He, he says yes, most of the time. Most of the time? Who, who do you see for your diabetes? Diabetic uh, doctor. ¿Qué doctor mira para su... Uh, una doctora que se llama Mantasabe. Y, pero, apenas fui con ella así como... Dos semanas. Mm -hmm. he's, he's taking care of his diabetes? Según ella. Did you, did you tell him your sugar's too high? ¿Ellos saben que su azúcar está muy alta? Mm, sí saben. Yo les dije que la azúcar la tenía alta porque no, no sé por qué no se me quiere controlar. He said he informed her. Mm -hmm. And then what, what did the doctor do anything different? Because your sugar's too high. Si so we're 200. Dice si el doctor le dio algo que hacer o si le recomendó algo porque su azúcar está muy alta. Si lo único que me dijo que me dio dos onzas de insulina más, dos miligramos de insulina más. They just gave him more, um, two milligrams more of insulin. No, he didn't. But this, it's still over 200 though, right? Pero todavía la tienen más de 200. Ah, lo que pasa que yo creo que ayer comí poquita... Comida que no quiere que comer. Que no tengo que comer. He's saying that yesterday he ate food that he knows he shouldn't be eating. Really? <laughs> 
What did you eat? Was it good? Dice el doctor que sí estaba buena. Estaba buenísima porque unos frijolitos de loya con chilito, cebolla, tomate y aguacate. He ate beans. Oh, yeah, beans? Beans, beans, not bad. Somebody told you not to eat the beans? The beans is not bad, but the... The abelis? Beans are okay. So, what, you ate a lot of beans? No, like a half a cup. Oh, half a cup? Okay. That's okay. Do you eat, do you eat bread and things? Bread? Come pan? Like tortillas? He's saying very little. Very little? Uh, something is bringing your um, sugar diabetes up though. Your sugar level is high over 200. So what's bringing it up, you think? What do you eat for breakfast? Y come para desayuno. Tortillas, sí, tortillas can do that. Beans have some sugar, but not as much as tortillas. Tortillas, cuántas, eh? No tortillas. Nada. He say how many tortillas can he eat? <laughs> how many do you eat now? ¿Cuántas se come ahorita? Máximo dos. Cada comida o al día? Sí, cada comida. So he said he eats about two with every meal. Uh huh. So there's a little pre ulcerated little lesion. Does it bleed out of this area too? No. No? But you feel pain here though, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to clean this up real good, okay? También le va a limpiar ahí el doctor, okay? So, how much tortilla? Hmm? He asked if he could cut his toe. Oh, cut the toe? Yeah. You mean the toenails? Las uñas o el dedo? No, las uñas. El dedo, no. Uh, <laughs> he said the nails. The nails, right? I don't want to cut your toes. Yeah, we can take care of your nails. So... ¿Por qué se mincha esto? What sugary stuff do you eat that, that have your sugar go up like that though? Like tortillas, right? And then, do you, do you eat come? like fruits and no. things? Come fruta? He eats some, like peaches. Peaches? How much? Quantos? Do you eat a lot? No. One and a half or one. One and a half or one? Yeah. Like one sitting? Quantos veces se come duraznos? Una vez al día? One time a day. No, oh, one time a day? Okay, that's not bad. So how often do you check your blood sugar? ¿Qué tan seguido se checa el azúcar? Tres veces al día. Three times a day. Oh, three times a day? They're all over 200 every time you take it? ¿Y cada vez que se la chequea está más de 200? No. Uh, ayer me la chequea a las... Uh, Como a las siete, que la tenía 160. He's saying that not all the time. Mm -hmm. Yesterday he checked it around seven. ¿En la tarde o en el día? En la, en la mañana. Seven in the morning and it was around 160. Oh, okay. That's en, better. La, cuando me puse la insulina y ya con, como a la una, mm -hmm. me la volvió a checar y la tenía a 99. He's saying then he took his insulin mm -hmm. in the afternoon and it was around 90. Oh, really? That's good. Do you eat like other really tasty stuff like cookies and candies and things like that? Come otras cosas como galletas o dulces, postres. No? Mm, sí, porque mi esposa hace un arroz de leche y está muy sabroso y me como un poquito. He's saying yes. Yes. <laughs> he does. I knew it. What is your favorite? ¿Qué es su favorito? Arroz de leche. Arroz con leche. It's like this Mexican recipe. Uh -huh. It's called arroz con leche. It's uh -huh. very sweet. Really? So he says that's his favorite and his wife makes some in his room. Oh yeah? When do you eat those? ¿Cuándo come eso? 
Como una vez a la semana. Sí, one time a week. One time a week? Oh, okay, not every day? No todos los días. No. No, not every day. Okay. No, porque no quiere, porque mi esposa no me quiere hacer, se enoja. So just once a week? Yeah. You sure? Sí. <laughs> It's really good. I want to try some. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was just kidding. Yeah, I'm, I'm diabetic too. I don't want to. Mm. Yeah. Could you bring in the uh, crest pad? The left medium crest pad. I'm going to give you a gift today, okay? Huh? I'm going to give you a gift. Okay, I'm going to mm -hmm. give you a pad that takes the pressure off this toe. Right now, you're sitting on this toe, yeah. where it makes this uh, area become painful with callus. And it can open up and cause ulcer. So we're trying to lift it up by this little gadget that I'm going to give it to you, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't give it to anybody for free, but I'm going to give it to you, okay? Alright. You like that? Yeah. You like I me like, now? I like it. <laughs> I like it, with you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you have to be careful using this, okay? I don't want you to... I don't want you to get it too tight. You see this thing right here? Yeah. You see a little sling, you pull down, and then you tighten up around the toe, okay? Now, don't get it too tight because I don't want any problem with it, but see how it goes? You're gonna put it right around the third toe, like this one, you see? And then you put it like this, and then you tighten up a little bit at the bottom. Mm -hmm. See how, how it's uh, pushing this toe up so you're not walking on the tip of the toe. Oh, okay. That's what's causing this um, pre-ulcerated condition, okay? So this is called a crest okay. pad. Dice el doctor que lo que le está poniendo es, no ve que el, el cuarto dedo, usted mm -hmm. cuando camina, camina en la punta de él. So lo que le está poniendo es ese para que le ayude que el dedo esté derecho, para cuando camine no se le abra allí. Pero cuando se ponga eso, nomás tenga cuidado que no se le apriete mucho. Okay, so rather than this thing is sitting right on the tip, we're going to lift it up so that you're not sitting on top of this, tip of this toe, to prevent further progression of this possible ulcer, okay? And then put it on this toe, but not too tight, okay? So se lo va a poner en el dedo, el tercero dedo, Y es para que le levante el cuarto dedo. ¿No ve que usted camina en la punta y le duele? Uh -huh. so eso le va a ayudar para que no se le abra y para que el dedo se quede derecho. Okay. okay. So you take it up. You don't have to sleep with this on, okay? Just take it up. Just use it whenever he's walking. Eso nomás lo va a estar cuando uh, usted está caminando. Pero cuando está en su casa o cuando está uh, para dormir, se lo puede quitar. Okay. okay. All right, we'll see you next time, okay? Just finished? Yes. You want more? No, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, Roberto. You got pictures on these?